Good morning, it's B94's Flick, and uh, we're here at Insight LASIK and Refractive Group, and I'm about to say goodbye to these forever, and this is Dr. Peters. Good morning. He's going to be performing the surgery, and uh, why don't you explain exactly what you're going to be doing to my eyeball? Well, first of all, we're going to take those glasses off, step on them, crush them, just get rid of them. I got a $50 deposit on these, I don't want to take a look at these. My goodness, can you all folks, can you see they're, these things? thick. He is more than just a little bit nearsighted, so we're about to change your life for this the This is better. blurry right here, so. It is Flick, not Nick, right? Correct. Just Flick. Right. Just Flick. Just Flick. Okay, what we're going to do is pretty technical, but I'll simplify it. We're basically going to take you into the laser suite. We're going to create this thing called a flap, okay, because LASIK involves using what's called the Exmer laser to reshape or reset the curvature of the cornea to correct your nearsightedness. Right now, your cornea is actually too steep for the length of your eye. So we're going to fix that. We're going we're to make it a little less steep, the curvature, and that will actually emulate what you, what you get with your glasses or contacts. The laser is going to do all that work, but the first thing I have to do in LASIK is make the flap. The only reason we make a flap in LASIK is for your comfort and speed of visual recovery. Because I can do the same thing on the surface, which is what the laser was actually uh, originally approved for. And we can do that, but I have to make a big scratch on your eyes to do that. And no one likes going through the scratch. That doesn't phase. sound pleasant at it's, all. It's uncomfortable, your eye burns water. But, so the LASIK flap makes things much more comfortable. So that's the first thing we'll do. We'll make the flap, then we'll apply the laser. We'll reshape, the laser will reshape the, the surface and make things a little flatter and correct your vision, and it does it exquisitely accurately. The laser is the most, this laser, the Exmer, it's called the Exmer laser, is the most accurate laser used in medicine today, bar none. It corrects things at 0.25 microns per pulse. So for anyone who's an engineer. I have no the, idea what that means, but it sounds cool. It's <laughs> sub-micron per precision. It's okay. almost at the level of wavelengths of light. Oh, wow. Literally. So it's very accurate. We're going to fix your eyes, I think, extremely closely. Excellent. Okay, so that's pretty much the procedure. Once the laser's done its work, the flap goes back, and you have to be careful not to rub your eyes. I mean, it heals. In, it's a process of healing, but it heals beautifully for most patients as long as you don't stick a finger in your eye or rub it out of place. And we'll make you wear shields at night to prevent that. So you'll do great. How long have you been thinking about this? But B94 started working with you guys, and I heard about it. It's something I always want to do. My mother got it like five years ago, mm -hmm. and she's raved about it ever since. That's so. Great. Um, when I heard you guys were working with us, I said, absolutely, sign up, I'm in. This is Dr. Thomas over here. He snuck in the side door. How are you doing? <laughs> Where's my Foo Fighters t-shirt? I'm sorry. What's it in home? Oh, man. <laughs> you excited? I am. I'm very, very excited. Cool. You're going to be more excited, you. I think, as soon as you get up off the table. Thing. It's going to be, it'll be revolutionary for you because you are, how many are you? Seven, eight? Hey, he's in the seven, seven. range. A whole lot of bad is what my You is. are very nearsighted. Now, I, I don't wear glasses for driving, but I do wear them for reading. And we'll talk about this a little bit more for you. You'll need reading glasses too, but in about 20 years, okay? That's a good so, time. so right now, you don't. And hopefully during the time interval, you won't need them at all. And we'll, I think you're having an excellent, better than 95% chance of seeing 2020 with one treatment for the duration. Okay? Excellent. All right. What else? You have other questions? All right. So now we're waiting. We've taken the Xanax and we're waiting for it to kick in.
surgery is all done. We've been great. Congratulations. Thank you. We're not going to rub your eyes tonight. <laughs> You're going to wear the shield when you asleep. Just leaving right now, Insight LASIK and Refractive Group. Just had my LASIK surgery done. I have to wear these groovy shades for a while. i got to go home and take a three-hour nap. A surgery that requires you to take a three-hour nap. I love it. Everything went great. The things I was scared the most about was uh, like being able to see what was going on. But you're blind during those parts, like you know them cutting the flap and, and all that stuff. You're actually blind during it, which is uh, really cool. You don't see anything. You feel a little bit of pressure. It's like somebody poking you. And that's, that's it. You're done. And it was, uh, it was a great experience. So thank you, Dr. Peters, Dr. Thomas. Thank you. did a great job. And uh, once my vision fully comes back, I'm sure it's going to be a thousand percent. So thank you very much. Insight, LASIK, and Refractive Group.